how to export your video so they can look exactly like this. Today I will be giving you guys my Premiere Pro export settings. Let's get to work. All right guys, so we're gonna get to the export settings. So as soon as you're basically done with your project, just set the sequence up ready so you can hit export. Um, I apologize for my timeline looking a little messy, but uh, I have a video on that, on how to clean up your timeline. But go to export. All right. So I already have my settings already kind of uh, pre-saved. So I actually have two settings I'm actually about to show you guys. So this right here is gonna be my, my first setting. So you guys can go over here. So set the frame size to, I usually have it at Ultra HD 4K. You can have it set to the other uh, version of 4K, but I just use Ultra HD. It works for me. Keep the frame rate at 24 or 23.76. Field, uh, field order, progressive, square pixels 1.0 zero check this right here guys render maximum depth um use rex um use maximum render quality cool never check this never check that um frame sampling awesome um set the profile to main Keep the level at 5.1, export color space, Rec 709. And for this right here, um, for the VBR one pass, just click on this. Cool, set this up to 61. And after that, you should be good. You can keep your audio settings where it should be. Um, another thing guys, if you have an issue when it comes to your color shifting, um, what I usually do, depending on how the footage is colored, I usually add a uh, the Q2 gamut from Premiere Pro. I'll link it down below if you're looking for this exact LUT, but this is a very good LUT if you are having issues with your Premiere Pro colors not hitting the way you want them to hit. Um, and then after that, guys, just, oh, of course, name name your uh, file and then just hit export. So yeah, guys, these are one of my export settings. I'm gonna give you another export setting that I usually also use. This right here is my ProRes setting. So go to Apple ProRes 422HQ. Check, basically, you're basically doing the exact same thing um, uh, over here. Um, quality 100 4k 24 frames progressive now you guys are going to go down over here check this off leave this at 100 render space uh 7.8 so when it comes to depth i usually have it at 16 bc i don't know why it was at 8 sometimes i probably i, I just change it <laughs> but um I, if I, if if it was at 8 that means i probably didn't tweak with it too much um so if i probably left it at eight it's a possibility that i've probably rendered a few videos where it was at eight but 16 bpc will be the most appropriate setting that you can have it on so it can give you that maximum quality look uh render at maximum render quality and that'll be basically it guys so these right here are my prores settings and the other settings that i just showed you are my h264 settings and the reason why I kind of have two um, settings like this, so I, I work with a lot of labels, so they usually require me to uh, send the video out in ProRes, because traditionally ProRes is supposed to be the the, the better setting, um, but I don't like having to upload 10 gigabyte files over my internet sometimes, so I just want to, if I want to just have a smaller but great quality video, I just go to my H.264 settings, but if I know for a fact that I'm doing labor work and they require this, I usually send this their way. But yeah, guys, these are my settings. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys have a good rest of the day. Greatest signing out.